Hey guys, Space Pigu here, and today I am back with yet another video! <laughs> um, which I suppose is good, because I make videos and that's the thing that I do. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, I am starting off by doing a background kind of thing, which I don't often do. Um, I'm not a huge background person, um, I don't think I'm very good at them. <laughs> and I generally try to avoid them at all costs, but since I wanted to paint a mermaid and I was using my nice A4 pretty watercolour paper, um, I decided that I would try and do something interesting with the background, because otherwise I've just painted a mermaid in the middle of a giant sheet of paper and it's not super interesting. Or yeah, that was the general idea. So I kind of did this gradiented, colourful background. Um, it's mostly, I think, like an emerald colour, um, a very indigo-y colour, and violet. Um, so yeah, and then I sketched the mermaid on top of this, which was kind of brave for me. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at just doing a sketch and getting everything in decent proportions and everything just going really well. <laughs> um, but it kind of turned out alright, so that was good, at least. So yeah. Um, also, as you may be able to tell, this is kind of mixed media. Uh, the background is entirely watercolour, but then I think... I think I use only gouache for the mermaid and the little the um oh what am i thinking what am i trying to say <laughs> uh the little jellyfish so there's a little jellyfish that i'm kind of painting around and now you can kind of see it so yeah um but yeah i mostly use gouache i think i use a tiny bit of watercolor to try and give the hair a bit more shading and dimension but not a huge amount Literally, like, a tiny, tiny bit of watercolour goes onto her, but yeah, so it's a little bit mixed media. A little bit, kind of, not, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah. I kind of did it this way because I felt like watercolours would give a nice watery background, which kind of feels like it makes sense. <laughs> um, oh, my voice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, clearly, it is not a day in which I will be able to talk for long periods of time easily which is incredibly inconvenient, so I'm going to take a small sip of water. Hmm. Well, I usually try to avoid drinking and coughing and stuff in videos, but I think I'm just going to let it be. Um, I've spent like hours, literally hours, editing. Um, I usually paint and work quite quickly, like I finish pieces in like an hour or so. Um, I just work quickly, I guess. But given that I had stuff that I needed to let dry, and this was a much bigger piece than usual, and I also just stopped for a lot of it. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff to cut out. Um, but yeah, because of that, I had a lot of stuff to edit, and I don't usually have this much stuff to edit, so yeah. But such is life. Um, <laughs> I think it's okay, I hope. Um, yeah, but because of that, I'm not gonna be messing around trying to edit the voice clip or re-record it, so meh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's not super distracting, aside from the fact that I've now just started talking about it for ages, so that was probably more annoying than the actual coughing and drinking water itself. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I was kind of torn between two ideas for this. My first idea was a really kind of emaciated, creepy, skeletal mermaid thing. Um, if you follow me on social media, as I always plug, links down below, blah blah blah. Um, I had like a sketch of that idea that I posted and I kind of really liked it and I kind of wanted to do it, but I don't know, something kind of, I don't know, I just, I just didn't want to. And so I kind of did a really, really quick, tiny little thumbnail for this. And I was like, yeah, I like that idea. I think I'm going to do that. Um, so I did. Obviously, otherwise you won't be watching this. Um, so yeah, I kind of struggled a little bit with 
the jellyfish, which makes sense because I didn't actually look up what a jellyfish looks like at any point. I just kind of guessed, which I don't recommend doing, but it can also kind of be fun. Um, I should probably look up jellyfish, but since it's kind of a fantasy thing anyway, I don't think it matters too much. Um, so yeah. I'm also kind of surprisingly pleased with how the hands turned out, which I don't say very often because they don't often turn out very well. <laughs> um, but I feel like they did this time, and I just kind of tr tried to not mess around with them too much, um, and just let them do their own thing, and I think that worked out quite nicely. I think one thing I could have done, since I'm literally working on the hair right now, I could have made it a little bit more wild. Like, on the one hand, I really enjoy that shape. Like, I just I just like that it's kind of this solid mass. Um, I think it looks kind of fun, but I also probably could have had a few more little bits of hair here and there going all over the place, but I didn't, so such is life. Um, I feel like, yeah, it looks a lot better on the left side. Um, but that might just be me. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of the type of curves I used. I don't know. I need to I need to pay more attention to that kind of thing when I'm actually drawing it out because sometimes I just draw a big messy bit. <coughs> mm. There we go again. Mm. But yeah, I just kind of draw a bunch of curves and hope that it turns out okay. And I think I'm starting to understand a bit better, like, what actually works when it comes to random waves and lumps, I guess, of hair. Um, which is nice, because I really enjoy doing hair. And yeah, I'm actually paying attention to it a little bit, and that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah. I also try to add scales. Um, at first I was like, I'm going to actually make these look like proper scales, and I'm going to have them so that they look like they're layering. And then I kind of got bored, as I tend to do, which is fair enough, because at this point I've been painting for like actual hours, which I don't do often. And it was really nice and really relaxing and kind of thing that I don't usually do. But at the same time, it, it gets tiring. <laughs> um, I can't like pretend that I don't get tired of just painting because I don't know, it can be, it can be exhausting. It's quite like, I mean, I guess not like mentally, kind of mentally straining. Like you just have to focus really hard. Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe I should focus harder. Maybe I not complain. I don't know. Either way. Yeah. I, I don't know. It was, it was just, yeah. I just got lazy with the scales. Okay. I put a lot of effort into everything else, so I think it's okay. Um, yeah. I really, I really like these kind of frilly bits as well, like these kind of fins that I went with, because I like drawing frills, but I don't draw them very often, and I also don't think I'm very good at them, <laughs> but these turned out quite nicely, so I was kind of happy with that. And yeah, I thought that was kind of an interesting thing to add to a mermaid anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like things that aren't like proper fish fins, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, and I'm also adding gold ink because I really like gold ink and any excuse that I can find to use it is good by me. Um, so yeah, I just add like details to the scales and to the jellyfish and to the kind of not really bra thing that's going on. Um, that was just kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I, I just wanted to add some gold, basically, so I did, because I just enjoy gold ink. Um, I added a few strands through her hair and stuff, and yeah. Um, so yeah, we're slowly edging up towards the end of the video. I don't know if it's actually soon enough for me to start my reel, but I guess I will. Um, I have social media. I think I link just my Instagram and my Twitter down below, which is fair enough, because they're the only ones that I actually really pay much attention to. I do have a Tumblr and a Facebook, they are the same name as my YouTube, which is convenient. Um, I'm, <laughs> I've managed to get hold of as many of my own accounts with my own name as I can, which is really nice. Um, it helps if you have an obscure name that no one else would choose. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
So yeah, I'm just finishing off lining and very shortly I will be doing like a pan over the picture so you can see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to like or comment or subscribe. Um, it, I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, here's the final picture. So yeah, um, thank you very, very much for watching and yeah, goodbye!